Hi, Assalamualaikum. Let's proceed now in Chapter 6, A Chemical Equilibrium, learning about equilibrium constants, Lesson 33, Part 1. We have to define what is homogeneous and heterogeneous equilibria. Deduce and write expressions for constant Kc and Kp and derive the equation of Kp equals to Kc RT to the power of delta N. The equilibrium concentration of reactants and products are related by law of mass action or law of chemical equilibrium. Let's consider a general reaction A A plus B B becoming C C plus D D, whereby the small letter of A, B, C and D represents the stoichiometry coefficients of each species in the balance equation. So in order to get the equilibrium constant Kc, we are going to use the formula the concentration of C to the power of C times concentration of D to the power of D and all of them divide by the concentration of A to the power of A times the concentration of B to the power of B. Which expressions are usually given in moles per litre? And so the symbol K is often written with a subscript C for concentration as in KC. Here is the formula of the equilibrium constant KC again. When the reactants and products in a chemical equation are gases, the equilibrium expression is in terms of partial pressures instead of molar concentrations. So, when we have the partial pressure for each individual reactant and products from the balance equation, we can use the same formula using the partial pressure. So the equilibrium constant Kp is now the pressure of C to the power of C multiplied by the pressure of D to the power of D divided by partial pressure of A to the power of A times partial pressure of B to the power of B whereby Pa is partial pressure of gas A and Kp is the equilibrium constant for the reaction in terms of pressure. The values and units for Kp and Kc are depending on the way in which the chemical equation is written. For example, 6.3 balance equation of 2SO2 plus O2 become 2SO3. The Kc is concentration of SO3 to the power of 2 divided by concentration of SO2 to the power of 2 multiplied by concentration of O2. So the unit will be molar square over molar square times molar, it becomes per molar. So instead of having mole per dm, we have dm cubed per mole. And the Kp expression is the partial pressure of SO3 to the power of 2 divided by the partial pressure of SO2 to the power of 2 times partial pressure of O2 and the unit of Kp is per atm. There are two types of equilibrium system that must be considered. Homogeneous equilibrium is when the products and reactants are in the same phase. For example, 6.4 and 2O4 becoming 2 and O2 is at the same phase gas. SO2 and O2 becoming SO3 is also gas whereas the acetic acid CH3COH dissociate to become CH3COO- acetate ion and H plus hydrogen ion. Please write this down in your page 168. Let's do example 6.5 writing KC and KP expressions. Remember the subscript C in Kc representing the concentrations of the reacting species. So for the general equation that we have earlier, the formula of Kc is given. 
The first question is N2O4 becoming 2NO2. The KC is the concentration of the product NO2 square because the stoichiometric coefficient of NO2 is 2 moles in the balance equation divided by the concentration of the reactant N2O4. The unit for this KC is molar. Question number two, acetic acid dissociate to become acetate ion and hydrogen ion. So the Kc is concentration of acetate ion multiplied by concentration of hydrogen ion divided by concentration of acetic acid. And the unit is also mole per liter. For Kp, the subscript P is referring to the equilibrium partial pressure of the gas. Again, the general equation and the formula is given for Kp. Let's do question 1. So the Kp is equals to the partial pressure of product NO2 square divided by the partial pressure of reactant N2O4. The unit would be ATM here. Question 3, N2 plus 3H2 becoming 2NH3. Kp equals to the partial pressure of product ammonia to the power of 2 because the stoichiometric coefficient in the balance equation is 2 mole for ammonia, the product, divided by the partial pressure of nitrogen gas multiply by the partial pressure of hydrogen gas to the power of 3. Here, the ATM to the power of 2 is divided by the ATM to the power of 4. So, the unit is ATM to the power of negative 2. Your homework is to do practice 6.1 green, 6.2 orange of page 168. Please, do balance the equations first. For heterogeneous equilibrium, the reactants and products are in different phase. Example 6.6 .6 shows calcium carbonate in the form of solid, decomposed to become calcium oxide, which is also solid, and carbon dioxide gas. Supposedly, the Kc is concentration of calcium oxide multiplied by the concentration of carbon dioxide gas divided by the concentration of calcium carbonate. But calcium carbonate and calcium oxide is a constant because they are solid. So Kc now is only the concentration of carbon dioxide gas. So as the Kp the partial pressure of only the carbon dioxide gas. The concentration of pure solids, pure liquids and solvents do not appear in the equilibrium constant expression. This is a molecular description of the example discussed. Calcium carbonate and calcium oxide are solid, they do not change their concentrations. A pure solid always has the same concentration at a given temperature, whereby it has the same number of moles per liter of the solid, just as it has same density at any given temperature. This is also a same reason applied to pure liquid meaning that we don't have to consider their concentration into Kc expression. As you can see in this figure, the manometer shows the height of the mercury is the same before the reaction and after the reaction. So the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is the 
equilibrium constant Kp. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide does not depend on the amount of calcium carbonate or calcium oxide. To understand this even further, let's look at our ideal gas equation, PV equals to nRT. When pressure is becoming the subject, P over RT is equals to N over V. At constant temperature, the pressure is directly proportional to molar concentration N over V. The equilibrium constant for reaction-involved gases can be expressed based on concentrations Kc and pressures Kp. Let's look at example 6.7, question number 2. Write equilibrium constant expression for Kc and Kp for the formation of nickel tetracarbonyl, which is used to separate nickel from other impurities. When we look at the balance equation, we notice that nickel, the reactant, is a solid. So the carbon monoxide and nickel tetracarbonyl would be the only species coming into consideration. Therefore, Kc equals to concentration of nickel tetracarbonyl divided by the concentration of carbon monoxide to the power of 4. And the Kp would be the partial pressure of nickel tetracarbonyl divided by the partial pressure of carbon monoxide to the power of 4. Your homework is to balance each of the following equations and write its equilibrium constant expression Kc and Kp in practice 6.2. The most interesting part in the topic is to understand the relationship between Kp and Kc. Let's look at the general equation that we have earlier. Kp is given... Kc is given by using N for moles and V for liters, assuming ideal gas behavior. To get the concentration of gas X, we need to write down the ideal gas equation PV equals to nRT, whereby the concentration of X is actually equals to the number of mole of X over V mole per dm cube, remember? And that is the same as the partial pressure of gas X over RT, whereby RT would be a constant. Px here is gas X partial pressure. So we write Px equals to concentration of X RT. Now, let's put in all the gases for D, C, A, and B. We're going to put all the partial pressure according to the Kp expression formula. So, the partial pressure of D is equals to concentration of D to the power of D multiplied by RT to the power of D. And for partial pressure of C, it is concentration of C to the power of C multiplied by RT to the power of C. These are for the products. The same goes for the reactants down here. After that, we can arrange the accumulated formula to have the concentrations of product and reactant in front, like this. And after that, the RT is going to be to the power of D plus C minus A plus B. And we are going to get Kp equals to Kc multiply by RT to the power of delta N.
whereby delta N is equals to the number of mole of gases products minus the number of mole of gases reactants. Let's do example 6.8. Calculate Kc for the following reaction at STP. Given Kp equals to 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 atm. We are going to use the formula that we have derived just now, which is Kp equals to Kc times RT to the power of delta N. Delta N here is referring to the stoichiometric coefficient of the product minus reactant. But the product calcium carbonate is solid and reactant calcium oxide is also solid. So... We are going to have Kc depending on the concentration of carbon dioxide gas only. So delta N is going to be 1. We modify the formula a bit because we want to find Kst instead of Kp. So we substitute Kp, 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4 is given. R is the gas constant, T is the temperature at STP in Kelvin, and delta N equals to 1. The answer is 9.3696 times 10 to the power of negative 6 molar. To test your understanding, please do practice 6.3 question number 1 and question number 2. The important thing to keep note in mind is the value of Kc and Kp is depending on how the equilibrium equation is written and balanced. For the reaction N2O4 becoming 2NO2 at 25 degrees Celsius, Kc is written to have concentration of NO2 to the power of 2 over concentration of N2O4. The value of Kc is 4.63 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. But if we reverse the reaction becoming backwards, now the nitrogen dioxide is the reactant. So 2NO2 becoming N2O4. The Kc is now the concentration of N2O4 divided by concentration of NO2 to the power of 2, the Kc now is 216 per molar. Even the unit changes. Another way to balance the equation is by having half of N2O4 becoming NO2. The reactants and products are the same but it is balanced differently. The Kc now is the concentration of NO2 divided by the concentration of N2O4 to the power of half equals to 0 0.068 molar to the power of half. So not only Kc value is different, the unit is also different. I hope you understand clearly how to deduce and write the expressions for Kc and Kp and how to use the equation Kp equals to Kc RT to the power of delta N. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye!